you how to use iMovie to create a video for your singers that they can listen to and watch while they can record themselves sing. Firstly, I will open iMovie and start a new project and I'm going to create a movie and then I will go to my folder where I have been saving all these files and firstly import my video of myself conducting. Now there are a couple ways to create this video. I created it with my accompanist. She played on the piano, I recorded her in my garage band and I recorded myself conducting on my phone camera. Another way for you to do this is to just listen to the tracks that you created on your garage band and then just create a video on your phone camera with yourself conducting. So now that I have the video, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to import my audio, my tracks. So what I can do is I can just click again on this and just import it into my project. So now you will notice that the sound is not aligned and there's actually a pretty easy way to do this in iMovie is I'm going to select my audio. I'm going to move the cursor right here where I see a larger spike in the audio and what I'm going to start adding is we call them markers and they will help you align the audio in the video. So I click on this cursor right here and just press M on my keyboard and I added the marker. Another way to do this is you can just go mark and add marker. In order for you to delete the marker, you can just drag it away and it will disappear. So I'm gonna go back and add it with the M. I need to make sure that my audio is highlighted. M. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I will find the spike in my audio. I'm going to click here on the cursor. I'm actually just gonna move this up a little bit so it's easier to see. And now I press M again. And the way that you can just align this is if you just move the audio, you see that there's a yellow line that appeared. Now, if this yellow line doesn't appear, the problem is probably that your snapping is not on. So double check that, go to view and click snapping. So now that I have my audio and video aligned, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna move my audio in my conducting video. I'm just gonna put it all the way down so it's not problematic and um, the singers don't need to listen to a double, a double audio. Now the next thing is I'm going to find the PDFs of my score and I'm going to import them. So I have three, I have this piece is pretty long but I'm just going to show you how to do this with three pages. So first I click on my page and just drag it in here and what I'm going to now do is I'm going to just move this page on the bottom and you'll see really quickly why. So there we go. All right, and now let's just say, so it's this long, let's say this is one page, it's this long. So what I could also do is I can click on the audio right here because I don't wanna maybe like play it yet and I can just click mute so I can align my pages or I can use my audio with the tracks to align the pages it really doesn't matter because now my audio is aligned with my video so um, that works perfectly fine so I can just do, do it any way I want all right so let's say this is my first page then for the first second page I'm just going to go back to my folder and just gonna drag and drop again. And I'm just gonna extend it. So for you to make the duration of this a little bit longer, just click on this cursor at the very end and just extend it as, as long as you need it. You will notice that now when I start playing, I can only see my video and I can't see my score, which I pixelated for the copyright purposes. So what I can do now is I'm going to click on this icon right here with the two windows. It says video overlay setting. And what I'm gonna click is picture in picture. 
So now you will notice that my video becomes a lot smaller, which I want it that way, okay? I can also just adjust this video. I can crop it a little bit. So I'm not taking too much extra space that I don't need. And that's it. So this is my video. Now you see that audio in the back, I'm gonna double click on it. And I don't want this right now, it's set up to Ken Burns, which means that the picture is moving around the frame. I don't want that because the singers actually cannot read the score that way. So I'm gonna click fit. And this is what happens now when I play it. And I don't really like that my video is now where it is. So I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. And let's say I like it this way. Perfect, and now for me to preview this, I can select this full screen. And now the second page started moving the same way as the first one did. So what I'll do is I'll do the same setting on the second page. So double click on the page, and instead of Ken Burns, click Fit. And now it's going to work. I'm gonna play it once again, full screen to preview. Perfect. And now your singers will be able to see this as well. Now, in order for you, you are done, you edited the audio and aligned it with your video, you added all the scores and everything, all the pages. So now you want to create a movie out of this project. And what you do is you can just go to this little icon and you can also go file share whichever you want to and you can just go to file and i'm just gonna name it conducting movie and video audio it's a 72p i can go to 1080p uh, so if you want a little bit better resolution a little bit better video and audio that you can do that click next and just choose your location I'm going to put it on my desktop where I have my virtual choir recording folder and I can just click save. And this is how you create your conducting video with the score in iMovie.